What's up and welcome back. Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. And today's test drive is a 1965 Mustang Fastback. This one here has got the 302 under. No power steering, no power brakes. But we're going to be taking it down the road, pointing out any kind of flaw so you know what you're getting before you get here. This one's got a set of US mags on it, disc brakes in the front. Got the bucket seats, three speed in the floor. Anything I see, you'll know about it. Financing, detailed pictures, and of course we update with new inventory every Monday at 11. So be sure to stick around and check that. That's the only day we update. Hit subscribe for daily content. Sit back, relax. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Before we take off, we'll look around the interior and check everything out. Place your bets. Do you think the horn works on this one? Pretty nice interior, really. I'm digging it. We'll throw the seat up towards the end of the video so you can see it in the picking out the flaw segment. Of course, up front here, we're going to be taking it down the road. Let's go ahead and get her started. Starts up really good. It's still cold right now. I only had it running for a second. Showing 57,000 miles. Let's try the wipers. They're working. Oh, you stop wherever you turn it off at. And that blade's starting to come off, so we need to fix that. Radio. It's cutting on. That knob is not turning up correctly. You see how it's going up and down as you're spinning it. I hear it. There we go. Blower motor, very stiff switch. It's all stiff, it's not working. Turn signals. Left side's popping up, right side's popping up. Let's see it blinking up there. Gas gauge quarter tank, we're stopping to get some gas. Oil pressure's way on up there. Horns, you place your bets. You said it worked, you was wrong. Visors are nice and clean too. Guys, let's go ahead and uh, let her warm up a little bit and hit the road. See how she runs and drives. Okay, anything I see, I will let you know. That's why I'm doing these videos for you guys. Let's take off down the road. Like I said, no power steering. See how stiff that is? Of course, you get to rolling a little bit. Look at this. Much easier. I'm still getting used to this one. Uh, I haven't actually driven this car yet. Checking our brakes. The clutch is like very springy. You see that? It's not just ease up. straight over here put about twenty dollars worth of premium fuel in this ride because this thing is about a quarter tank still getting used to driving it chill right here 
just because it is so hot, I'm not going to pull it from the sun. All right. Let's go ahead and look under the hood and see why it's sticking. I guarantee it's a spring. That's exactly what it was. So they've actually got the spring hooked in the wrong spot. But this right here was catching on that screw. So what we'll do is relocate it and make that stop. Probably just put it on the backside. Good deal. All right. $25 worth of fuel in this ride. Actually, $26.04 gave me 5.1 gallons. Put it in right here in the back. Let's check that gas gauge. Let's see if it works. All right. Turn the key on. Boom, baby. Gas gauge is working. Let's take off. Got y'all set up on the head cam here. Now we're gonna take off. I'm using the GoPro 8 today. And it's actually looking pretty good. So let's head on back to the lot. I went ahead and put that spring all the way back where it needed to be. A little weird on first gear, but it always goes in. I'm still trying to learn uh, this car because every stick is different. Ah, I think I got it. Like I said, the clutch is stiff on this one. Let's see. The throttle feels much better. Get her up and on. A little bit of a stutter from the carburetor there. It's only when you're getting down in it hard. Right there. So what I mad at it starts doing that little shutter. back into first here I guess with a three speed you could just shove it into second I want to get it back into first come all the way down to a slow stop there it goes I guess you just got to slow down uh... let's try it again 
there it goes yeah you just got to slow down enough in this one to get it back in at first i thought i was going slow enough <laughs> again it's something you got to learn with all stick shift cars they're all different i can drive 10 of them in one day and almost every one of them will be a little different so let's go camera shake there and down in the brakes hard feels pretty good slowing down fast so as far as gauges high oil pressure uh, good engine temperature right there in the middle and we're gonna turn around and head on back to the lot but we got to stop by Brian's Motorsports real quick I've never seen that before, but that is a lot of metal flake on that BMW. <laughs> so, Brian's Motorsports does customization on all types of cars. Check him out, brianzmotorsports.com. I think you'll enjoy some of the work that he does. He puts a lot of time and effort in his vehicles. And a lot of people are buying cars from us, sending them to down here, getting the wheels, tires, interiors done. Uh, don't blame him. I get all of my stuff done as well. I just bought a set of wheels for my Camaro uh, and my truck last year also the guys up there at maple motors my uncles and my family if we need anything we come down here it's a spot along with a lot of people in hendersonville here and tennessee titans they use them as well again brianzmotorsports.com instagram facebook snapchat and on youtube here you can watch videos that he has made we're gonna head on back to the lot now and do picking out the flaws anything i see whatever i find we're gonna get up close and personal look at all the lower panels uh, we're gonna check the interior out in detail i hope you enjoyed this video we go over everything so you know what you're getting before you get here thank you for watching i'll see you later all right about that time walk around this ride picking out the flaws anything i find you'll know about it let's get started just coming around this one around the front end here you can see it does have some age some pitting on that front bumper the scratches and scuffs coming around the front clip here chrome looks good in the grill around the headlights paints in decent shape Pumping over that fender and looking at this wheel us mag disc brakes decent tires and down the fender here chip right there we've got some chips on the edge of this door and the door is hanging just a little bit in the corner tires good shape up and over the fender in the rear Looks like we got some specs down here. The road tar is what that is. Back that midsection. Pretty straightforward here. A little bit of pitting on your chrome door handle there. A little chip there. backing up over here top of the fender front windshield on this one looks great trim is in good shape and the seal is in good shape up your pillar here you've got some chips mirror there nice and clean the seal around your vent window, those usually crumble. This one has been replaced. A little bit of pitting on the trim there. Window looks good. Trim around the window looks good. And the seal's been replaced. You got a crack right here in the paint. Up here, you got some bubbles popping up behind the trim. Looking over the roof good shape 
little spot here popping up in the paint. Back window on this one, nice and clean, trim looks good. Back bumper showing signs of age there. A little bit of pitting, bubbling. And down this lower portion here, not too bad. Top of the truck here, chip. A bit of pitting on your door lock. Or trunk lock. Cracks in the paint up here. You also got a bubble right here popping up where the paint's cracked. A couple specks from the road there. Tires in good shape up and over the fender. Door is hanging a little bit, you can see it. The shutter. Yeah, never mind. Door is fine. Sorry about that, guys. I just didn't shut it all the way. Chips on the edge. All right, had to answer the wife. I'm sorry. Let's get started back here on the door. Little ding in the door there. Little chip there. Also down at the bottom here. It looked like a little dirt. I just wiped it off. You can see some more dirt there. A hazy spot here. Looks like something's going on there too. Touch up mark. Chip. Back to this midsection. Little chips right there in the front. Scuff here in the back. Like crack there on the trunk. I showed these earlier. Just like cracks. Back window's in pretty good shape. I don't see any chips. Does have some real light scuffs in the middle there. dimples pitting on your door handle chip here crack right there uh, along this it does have a few little paint cracks behind the trim also down your pillar see some light bubbles there so here This one over here is just stained up. That needs to be scrubbed. That'll come clean. Mirror's in good shape. A little bit of pitting on your door handle. Front windshield looks good. Trim looks good. A little bit of pitting here. there little dings thing up here the front okay made it around the ride let's go ahead and open the trunk up here we're gonna be checking the hood as well towards the end of the video well I had the keys in my pocket how about that first time for everything this happened the other day I do believe was it the circle one a little circle one yep okay so this one doesn't have the spring in it either it's like the front so as we open it up we had a complete downpour out here earlier that's why i'm doing this video a little backwards uh, i just figured i'd start doing the walk arounds while it's raining or in between you definitely got some water and this will be wiped out i'm gonna wipe it out here in just a moment looking around your jams 
couple spots there, also there. But of course we show everything, so I want you to know the trunk leaks. I'm sure once we sell the car, it'll probably be sitting in a garage, not on a car lot. Seal looks good. Package trailer. Yeah, it needs the spring in the trunk to hold it up. And looky there. We got two of them this week. That one's more of a green shade. We'll check it out, and I'll have a totally different video for it. Let's keep going on this one. Door panel on this one's in good shape. Down the bottom of the door. See, it's kind of needs to be tucked and wrapped up under it, but I mean, it's in good shape. It just needs to be retucked there. Your jam, not too bad. Looks pretty good. And then we got uh, some leaks in here. It has been raining. Definitely got some water coming in from somewhere under the dash here. Actually, it looks like right there. Yep, see that drip? where it's taking air from the outside the seat in this one's in good shape a little glue on the back here also the back seat looks good panels all clean let's flip her down carpet good shape Headliner in this one, not too bad. So I haven't actually test driven this car yet. I will. I don't know, this is at the end of the video, so it's confusing. But I started with this, guys. I'm gonna test drive tomorrow when it's not raining outside. In a three speed. Dash clean. Let's start her up. Technically, cold start. Engine temperature is all the way down, 57,000 miles. Oil pressure is up. Fuel gauge is still down. Wipers work. Good deal. No harm. Separated a little bit there, and they have done something with some silicone here to fix it. There's no springs, so it's going to come straight down on you. actually now it's locked gap there has got a big too spot here in the nose slight ding in the middle of the hood 
Guys, I appreciate you watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, check out that one. <laughs> or Evan. He's pretty cool. Go to maplemotors.com for finance and shipping, detailed pictures. And every Monday we'll put out some new rides. Thank you. See you later.